This is a Lunaterra Classic Price Prediction and LUNC Technical Analysis on hourly and daily timeframes as well as LUNC news. We always base our decisions only on those that align with the longer term trend. Before we present our Lunaterra Classic Technical Analysis, we will tell you about other price prediction news. Terra Luna Classic Price Prediction Can it reach $1 by 2023? Terra Luna Classic Price Prediction as LUNC sees $100 million trading volume come in. Terra's Luna Classic Price hints at a 20% explosive move soon. Technical Analysis and Trading Signals on the Daily Time Frame Pivot Point Super Trend System gave the sell signal. Candlestick Patterns are bearish. ABC Trading Patterns are bearish. Support and Resistance Level Analysis show breakout further down. Overall on the daily chart, we decided to keep shirt positions. Technical analysis and trading signals on the one hour time frame. On the hourly chart, we got sell signal. Pivot point super trend system gives sell signal. Candlestick patterns are bearish. ABC trading patterns are indicating downtrend. Support and resistance level analysis show lower lows. Overall on the hourly chart, we decided to stay short. Watch until the end of video, as we will present you results of our another trading strategy. Subscribe to get more technical analysis videos. The LUNC USD is bearish after breaking through the $0.000016 upward trendline support level. Closing candles below this level have the ability to push the bearish trend all the way to the $0.000011 level. Furthermore, the 50-day moving average is signaling a bearish trend below $0.000022, which is now functioning as a barrier. While LUNC is unlikely to hit $3 anytime soon, a crossover $0.000016 might prompt purchasing to $0.000027 or $0.000036. Terra Classic Casino burns its first million LUNC. The Terra Classic Casino's donation to the LUNC burn campaign has started. Terra Classic Casino a newly formed gaming site has officially commenced its contribution to the Terra Classic LUNC burn campaign. As incineration ramps up in its endeavor to stick to the 0.2% burn rate originally pledged to the community, the betting site recently updated its commitment to the burning campaign, sharing its contribution after the combustion of the first 1 million LUNC tokens burned. After four days of continuous burning, the one plank mass burn was achieved. We've just burned our first million lunk. Rex Rexy Harrison, head of development at Tarek Vita and a notable Terra community member, stated his delight for the casino's contribution and further underlined the possible heights the platform might achieve from LUNC burning, provided they have enough community support. Rexy further said that its one plank mass LUNC burns are only applicable to on-chain deposits and withdrawals. Wow, Terra Casino IO has already burnt 1 million lank, and this is just from deposits and withdrawals on the chain. The more we back them up, the more they burn Rexy made the observation in reaction to Terra Casino's prior tweet. Members of the LUNC community have had conflicting responses to the news, with some complimenting the newly launched platform for its dedication and others condemning it for the low burn rate and inability to authenticate the authenticity of its burn claim on the blockchain. It's worth noting that its 1,096,015 burn is worth an estimated $176 at current prices, Recall that Rexy announced the start of the casino last Thursday, with Tarek Vita admitting that it has the potential to burn up to 26 billion LUNC in six months. Notably, the casino intends to burn 0.2% of all LUNC wagering volumes. Terra Classic LUNC had a little price gain, defying the trend of other high market cap cryptocurrencies. The price of LUNC surged by more than 2% during the European session, according to CoinMarketCap statistics. As of this writing, 
It was trading at $0.0000164 giving it a market worth of $982 million. Because fear, uncertainty, and doubt FUD remain in the market, trade activity has decreased and has remained below $1 billion. Terra Classic LUNC Tokenomics and Price Singaporeans are looking at cryptocurrency lender HODL not. Singapore police have apparently launched an inquiry into the struggling cryptocurrency lender HODL not. Over the years, the company's management has been accused of fraud and other crimes. Singaporean authorities, according to Bloomberg, have launched an inquiry into HODL not's probable cooperation in cheating and fraud. The company's directors have been called out for false assertions pertaining to the company's exposure to a specific digital token as a consequence of various reports. Due to difficult market circumstances, the Singapore-based Bitcoin lending company froze withdrawals, deposits, and token swaps in August. What is the connection between HODL Knot and Terra Luna Classic? HODL Knot was one of several people killed in the Terra disaster in May of this year. The exposure of the corporation to the algorithmic stablecoin USD resulted in a $190 million loss. Customers may have been kept in the dark by the Bitcoin loan platform. Binance CEO unveils $2 billion fund following FTX meltdown Bitcoin and cryptocurrency prices Bitcoin BTC and other cryptocurrencies are still suffering after the sudden collapse of major crypto exchange FTX earlier this month which sparked demands for game-changing, vital worldwide standards. Since this time last month, the Bitcoin price has dropped 20%, driving down the broader crypto market and bringing the total value lost from the entire crypto market to about $2.2 trillion, though Tesla billionaire Elon Musk has issued a surprise 2023 price prediction. Binance CEO Change Ping CZ Zhao has pledged $2 billion to a crypto rescue fund just months after the Luna Foundation Guard burned through nearly $3 billion trying to prop up its ecosystem, and FTX disgraced founder Sam Bankman Fried SBF reportedly used FTX user funds to support his trading company, Alameda Research. Not at all. It's the start of a new chapter. The Industry Recovery Project is an attempt to inspire or restore trust in the crypto market after the collapse of FTX and SBF, who was dubbed crypto's lender of last resort until his disastrous demise earlier this year. However, the fund has failed to assuage investors' concerns that the FTX contagion would not extend to other firms. It's difficult to foresee a situation in which this specific fund achieves anything to avert the impending collapse. Crypto market observer Liren Shapir wrote in a direct message on Twitter. The fund has also prompted concerns about the crypto market's concentration, with Binance serving as both the world's biggest exchange and the industry's de facto lender of last resort. Obviously, a CZ-led recovery fund will be no better than an SBF-led attempt to save crypto, Corey Clipson. The chief executive of Bitcoin buying app Swan Bitcoin and an outspoken opponent of non-Bitcoin coins stated through Telegram, if CZ succeeds in further centralizing the non-Bitcoin crypto economy, it will be more vulnerable to collapse or regulatory control. Dogecoin Doge, Terra Luna, and Orbian Protocol are three coins that seem promising for 2023. ORBN at the time of writing, the market is rapidly losing value. Many cryptocurrencies are significantly reduced, but consumers are unsure what to purchase. While you should always do your own research, market professionals believe that Dogecoin Doge, Terra Luna, and Orbian Protocol ORBN are good buys. Terra Luna, which is now ranked 119 by market cap, has a lot of space to expand and many analysts consider it an excellent purchase at its present levels. Orbian Protocol is also introducing the Winner's Circle, a special VIP investor club. These VIPs will get an Orbian Protocol NFT, which will provide them exclusive access to face-to-face -face meetings with business founders, private investment rounds, and more. The ORBN token powers the Orbian ecosystem, which includes a swap, exchange, wallet, and metaverse.
Token holders get benefits such as governance, staking, and trading fee savings. The present price of Orbian Protocol ORBN is 14 cents. However, experts predict a 6,000% increase to 0.24 in the next weeks. To protect investors against drug pulls and other frauds, the liquidity is locked for 10 years and the team tokens will be frozen for 12 months. The increase was attributed to the establishment of a 1.2% tax burn on all LUNC on-chain transactions. Terra Classic native token had a spike in September 2020, reaching a high of 0.00059 USD. Tobias Andreessen, Terra Rebels chief developer, said during Ask Me Anything discussion with Terra community members that the 1.2% burning tax may take another century. There would be enough LUNC tokens burned by the time the token's price reached $1 USD. According to one LUNC backer, who cited Terra Network creator Do Kwan, there is a chance that the 1.2% tax burn may fail. Similar sentiments concerning the LUNC burn process can be seen all over social media, since the buzz around token burning has faded dramatically. The renowned Terra Luna network collapsed in May of this year when its native algorithmic stablecoin UST lost its peg with the USD. Three coins could 10x, Despite the present gloomy state of the cryptocurrency market, the three coins on pre-sale mentioned below offer significant upside potential. Dash 2 Trading D2 Terra Leaders Dash 2 Trade is an Ethereum-based trading intelligence platform that gives real-time analytics and social data to traders of all skill levels, helping them to make better informed choices. Dash 2 Trade, a platform for crypto trading intelligence and signals, has grabbed investors' curiosity after raising $7 million in little over a month. Visit RoboTerra right now Calvaria Rearia Calvaria is a new cryptocurrency gaming startup with the potential to dominate the play to earn industry. The demand for cryptocurrencies in order to join, according to Calvaria Rea creators, has proved to be a substantial obstacle to mainstream Web3 gaming acceptance. As a consequence, the game will offer both free-to-play and pay-to-win options, with the free-to-play variant available to gamers without Bitcoin. Since its start, the pre-sale has collected approximately $2 million and is currently in its final phases after the creators opted to finish it early. The pre-sale was scheduled to consist of 10 phases and 300 million re tokens. However, the creators have opted to change the pre-sale offering which implies that Stage 5 will be the last opportunity for investors to purchase RIA before they are released to the general market, where prices are likely to skyrocket. Calvary pre-sale is now open. South Korean prosecutors said they may accuse Terraform Labs PTE, co-founder Daniel Shin, with fraud for advertising the now-defunct Terra Luna stable coin as a payment mechanism despite several warnings from financial authorities that it was against the law. Refer to this related article. The Chai Corp. of Terra co-founder Daniel Shin has been searched by South Korean police. Quick Facts Shin, whose full name is Shin Hyun Soong, said twice in 2018 that the Terra stable coin would be offered as a payment mechanism on South Korean e-commerce platforms, according to local media site YDN, the financial supervisory service. On the other hand, told Shin multiple times that virtual assets could not be registered as a payment method under the Electronic Financial Transactions Act. According to the report, Choi Sun Kook and the Seoul Southern District Prosecutor's Office confirmed the YDN report to forecast, adding that prosecutors are considering charges of fraud against Shin under the Capital Markets Act and whether to issue an arrest warrant. Shin co-founded Terraform Labs, which released the Terra Luna stablecoin in 2018, alongside Quan Do Hing, or Do Quan. Du Quan was the company's chief executive officer. South Korean authorities are looking into Terra Luna, which went bankrupt in May of this year, causing hundreds of thousands of investors worldwide to lose money. While they have filed an arrest warrant and are working with Interpol to locate Do Quan, the Terra CEO's whereabouts remain unclear. Refer to this related article. Daniel Shin, co-founder of Terra, 
rejects a $100 million Luna cash out report. Live Terra Luna Classic News Updates Terra Luna Classic LUNC could fall again live Terra Luna Classic News Updates Terra Luna Classic LUNC, which will be released in May 2022, will preserve all of the attributes of the original Terra Luna currency. Terra is an open-source blockchain payment network for algorithmic stablecoins or cryptocurrencies that monitor the price of currencies or other assets automatically. Terra Classics value has plummeted following Terra's demise. Thank you very much for watching until now. Here are the results of our another trading strategy. Trading System 2. Technical Analysis and Trading Signals on the Daily Time Frame. The daily chart gives us a sell signal. Trading System Generated Sell. Multi-Time Frame Stochastic Indicator is neutral. Price is below both multi-time frame moving averages. MACD indicator is close to generation of buy signal. Trading system 2. Technical analysis and trading signals on the one hour time frame. The hourly chart gives us a sell signal. Trading system generated sell. Multi time frame stochastic indicator is oversold and almost generated by signal. Prices between both multi time frame moving averages. MACD indicator generated by signal. Write down below in the comments what is your strategy for the next few days. Click the card on the either left or right to get to more Luna Terra Classic Price Prediction Analysis and LUNC Technical Analysis. Also we present analysis on Bitcoin and Bitcoin News Today. We cover tickers, XRP, BDC, Cardano, ETH Technical Analysis and Shiba Inu Coin. Check our our playlists for the free technical analysis trading course. We do not provide investment or tax advice.